to my channel. So today we have baby girl helping me out doing the grocery haul. If you do hear noises in the background, that is my dishwasher going. It seems I always have my dishwasher going or dirty dishes every time I'm doing a grocery haul. But anywho, today I have a grocery haul for you guys, a pretty big stockpile. I stockpiled on some things today. Um, to fill up our pantry. I finally got a standing pantry to go in our kitchen. So stockpile video, what I have in my stockpile video is coming soon to you guys. So like I have mentioned before, we are a family of five. I grocery shop every two weeks and all of this cost $415. Um, so without further ado, we're gonna get right into it because I don't know how much time She's gonna give me to go ahead and get through this grocery haul plus putting it away. So we're gonna get right into it. And again, I apologize for my dishwasher running. So here I've got some pineapple chunks. I just got a few because I'm pretty much the only one that will eat these. Big thing of strawberries and you guys, these strawberries look really good and red and juicy and Benjamin is already requesting a smoothie from me. Okay, we've got two green bell peppers and I got this pack of bell peppers because I always get green and red bell peppers but for some odd reason they didn't have any red bell peppers that were individual so I just got this bag. Two red onions, two yellow summer squash and a pack of raspberries. Got some heavy whipping cream for my coffee, some sour cream, whole milk. I got this Caesar salad kit. I plan on doing like a grilled chicken Caesar salad wrap with this. So I got that. Some sliced provolone. Some of these non-dippers and they're little mini ones. So my plan is to make pizza Lunchables with these. Nice. Hey, me this. She grabbed the onion and is trying to eat it. Oh, is that your Cheetos or is that onion? Let me see. So anyways, this thing was like three dollars and something cents and so <laughs> now she's grabbing squash. Really? Really? Like I said, is to use the tomato sauce that we have, make my own homemade pizza, and get cheese, put these in containers, and put them in the fridge for Benjamin to grab for a super quick lunch or snack. So much cheaper. So, got that. Got some of these French sandwich rolls for sandwiches. You already know. Holy Grail for the kids, the animal smoothies, and some eggs. Okay, moving along over here to like our little frozen section. I picked up a couple of these Healthy Choice meals. I really like to have these on hand. Um, just for something quick and simple um, to make up for a quick lunch for myself. Sometimes I have a lot to do around here, so sometimes just having something that I can just pop in the microwave real quick is the best way to go. So I got this beef merlot, which I've had this before and it's really good. And I got this grilled chicken pesto with vegetables and the barbecue seasoned steak with potatoes. And then I picked up two of these chicken nuggets with macaroni and cheese. It also comes with a brownie. So I got two of those, super quick lunch for the boys. And then I picked up two of these poppin' chickens. It comes with chicken nuggets and these fun little shaped mashed potatoes in the freezer right now because they're already starting to melt. But these are the cherry pineapple big sticks for popsicles. Then over here, I've got some mini corn dogs, the Great Value um, Ham and Cheese Hot Pockets, and some of the pancakes and sausage sticks for breakfast. Bless you. And we've got some breakfast nuggets. Benjamin absolutely loves these things. It comes with sausage, egg, and cheese inside. And then we've got two bags of this Smithfield hometown original patties. I originally got the great value big family size bag of the original, um, but they substituted it for this. Um, so hopefully these taste good because I got two bags of those. And then I picked up some of the Totino's pizza party pack, the pepperoni. The boys loving, love having these for lunch, so I picked up a box of those. 
and I also picked up a bag of the bigger buttermilk pancakes. Moving on to some of the meats that I picked up, I've got some of this Canadian bacon for breakfast, two packs of the thick sliced bacon, and then I got two packs of these chicken breasts. I actually got four packs, but they were out. They only had two left, so I just got these. We go through a lot of chicken in this house, so I always try to stock up as much as I can on that. And then I got a thing of hamburger meat. Some of our chips this week, I've got some classic Lay's and two bags of the hot Funyuns. One is for my sister and then one for me. Two bags of these semi-sweet chocolate chips just to keep in stock because I do bake um, quite often. So love to have that in stock for whatever I feel like baking. Um, picked up three boxes of the chicken rice aroni. This is our favorite flavor, so I definitely like to keep a big stockpile on that. And then some of the Uncle Ben's rice. I got three bags of the jasmine rice and three bags of the cilantro lime. These are my new favorites. I have not tried these. I tried these the last time I went grocery shopping, and they are so, so good. So picked up some of those to stock up on. Picked up two of the Martha White birthday cake muffin mix. Oh, actually, it looks like they substituted one for the wild berry. Um, so that's fine, the, the boys will love this. I've been trying to do these instead of buying the Little Bites muffins. It's just cheaper and you get more for your money. So I picked up two of those. Got two bags of chocolate donuts, one for my sister and then one for the boys. Two boxes of Funfetti cake mix. A couple more boxes because Benjamin is going to be having a birthday soon. So need to have that on hand. Also picked up another bag of flour. If you see my last grocery haul, well, one of the grocery hauls, um, probably won't be the last one that I posted once I post this, but um, I picked up like eight bags of flour. But oh. I've been hearing a lot about flour being a shortage this year. So I'm definitely stocking up on my flour. All right. Picked up a, bag, a one pound bag of some black beans and a five pound bag of rice. Every time I go shopping, I pick up a five pound bag of rice and I am now starting to pick up one pound bags of dry beans to put in my stockpile. Never know when this stuff could not be on the shelves. Just like when COVID hit, it was really hard to find these things. So every grocery trip, these are two items that I purchase no matter what. Picked up some mild banana pepper rings. We were almost out of those. And then they gave me six boxes of these instant mashed potatoes. I actually picked up the bigger boxes, um, so they went ahead and substituted it um, for the same amount in the little boxes, which is absolutely fine with me. And then I picked up two bags of sugar to go in my stockpile. Definitely want to have sugar in my stockpile at all times. Um, and that goes hand in hand with the flour and the rice and beans. Those are just things that I always want to continuously be purchasing to have a good stockpile on. And up here we've got some snacks. So I picked up some of these Oreo Cakesters. We all love these. These are super, super good. Definitely try these. If you have not tried these, try them. They are very, very good. And I've heard really good things about these mini soft baked cookies by Pillsbury, um, the chocolate chip. I believe they have like a funfetti kind and a couple other kinds, um, but I decided to give these a try. We haven't tried them, but I'm hoping that they're good. And then back here, I picked up um, a Flamin' Hot variety pack box. So it comes with the Flamin' Hot Fritos, the Flamin' Hot Doritos, um, the Flamin' Hot Fries, Flamin' Hot Puffs, and regular Hot Cheetos. Those are mainly for me and my husband. We love um, spicy chips, so I got some of those. Got some avocado oil. With all that flour that I've been buying, I plan on making my own homemade bread. Um, so I read that using avocado oil is a good, healthy um, oil to use for your bread. Um, so got some of that. And then I picked up two things of the ground black pepper to have on hand. And I also picked up two of these Propel drink packets. Um, I read that Propel is a lot um, healthier than Gatorade. Um, although Propel is made by Gatorade, 
Um, there are no um, like red 40 dyes or anything like that in them. So I picked up this kiwi strawberry and this raspberry lemonade and these are both zero sugar. Feel like these will be really good for the boys over the summer. And then I picked up some Sasson. I have been looking for this everywhere. Every time I go grocery shopping, I'm always looking for it. They never have it everywhere I go. So I'm really happy that they have this. Um, so I picked up some of that. Got some minced garlic um, to have on hand in the fridge. I have fresh garlic, but I like to use both depending on what I'm making. Also picked up some of the Country Time Pink Lemonade. We were out of that, so I picked up another thing of that. I am trying to have different types of drink mixes on hand in my stockpile, so we have plenty of different options to choose from. Um, got some more baking powder and another um, a big jug of this Mrs. Butterworth syrup. I definitely want to have that on hand. Um, we go through a lot of syrup in this house, so having that in my stockpile is really good to have. Some of the canned goods that I picked up, I picked up with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten cans of El Papo. We use this stuff in our Mexican rice. It is one of the number one ingredients that I use in my Mexican rice. If you would like to see a video on that, I have a short video on how to, how I make my Mexican rice. So I've got that. I got four cans of black beans, four cans, wait, four cans, yes, four cans of pinto beans and six cans of tomato sauce to replenish our stockpile. And I picked up some plastic forks and some plastic cups because your girl does not like doing dishes. So got those. Also got some AAA batteries. We were, well, me and my sister were watching TV last night and the remote gave out on us. So quickly realized that we didn't have any AAA batteries. So I picked up some of those. And then the last two items here, I got this variety pack for the boys. It's original Cheez-Its, white cheddar Cheez-Its, regular Pringles, and some Rice Krispie Cheats. Oh, and also two cans of formula for baby girl and a thing of Dr. Pepper there for hubby. So yeah, that is everything that we got. All right, you guys, so that's everything we got. Like I said, I stockpile, so these items are going to last us for two weeks and well beyond that. Um, I'm really happy that I finally have my pantry, don't mind my messy kitchen, but that big um, brown cabinet there that you see has is now holding all of our back stock items and I couldn't be happier. My husband got me that for Mother's Day and I'm so excited. I've already started putting um, food in it um, and now I get to put even more. So, like I said, this all cost $415. She's already getting super fussy. You guys might have heard her in the background talking up a storm. Um, I'm trying to distract her with her little baby Cheetos. Um, but yeah, that's everything that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this grocery haul. If you guys enjoy watching my grocery hauls and you want to see more, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Comment down below. I would love to chat with you guys. And until next time, say bye. Say bye bye with your little Cheeto crumbs. <laughs> Thank you.